Hello, I'm Jody Brenner Ginsburg of Ginsburg Law Offices. Today I want to speak with you about surveillance. There is no question that when an individual gets hurt in the workers' compensation arena, that the insurance companies are usually looking for ways to catch you doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. They do not believe in many cases that you're as hurt as you think you are. They do not always believe that you follow doctors' restrictions and orders. The fact of the matter is, is in our caseload, our clients are typically hurt and rather hurt very badly. Um, and I always advise my clients in the following manner. When you're injured and your doctor has restrictions on you, whether it be no work at all, whether it be 10 pound lifting restrictions, no bending, stooping, or squatting, you must follow those directions at all times. Look, we all understand that life goes on even when you're injured. You have to still pick your children up from school. You may still have to go to the grocery store and get groceries. Perhaps you don't have family or friends who can help you do these tasks. Unfortunately, when you do these tasks, because you have to do the basics in life, the surveillance cameras can be on you and can be used against you in great force. We have found in recently that the private investigators are there sitting in the doctor's waiting room to watch you to see how you walk in. Are you using your cane or aren't you using your cane? Are you bent over the way you describe to the doctor that you can't stand up straight because you have a back injury? And so you have to just be truthful with your doctors, be truthful with me as your lawyer, and do what you can to stick within the guidelines that the doctor has given you in terms of restrictions. You must understand that what happens is these surveillance cameras could be at the grocery store following you. They could be, as I said, in the doctor's office. They could be outside your home. They could be at the gas station following you. And then what these private investigators do is they take the surveillance video and they send it either to the insurance company and your treating doctor in many cases and say to Dr. X, look, Mr. Smith or Ms. Smith is now able to lift a grocery bag. Well, if he or she can do that, why can't they go work at the store and bag groceries? Or why can't they stand there and, and do another particular job that doesn't even require any lifting? So you have to be very, very mindful that what you are doing physically can come back and really affect your case. This is not about doing anything improper. This is about being smart in terms of what your restrictions are. You also have to understand that if you start posting on Facebook and other types of social media, that this too can at times be obtained by the insurance companies and used against you. When you're injured, you're injured. When you have work restrictions on you, you have work restrictions on you, which also mean you have restrictions on you for your daily life. In order to keep your case out of that firing range, for lack of a better term, and off the charts of the workers' comp insurance companies' adjusters, you must follow your restrictions to the T. If you'd like to speak about this or any other aspect of your case, please give me a call at 770-351-0801. Thank you.